welcome back uh, in this video we will be comparing the two important concepts that is the r square versus beta in this video lecture we will be covering the interpretation of the terms the difference between r square and beta and the practical example so let's begin uh, we will start it by having a practical example for example there is a particular study and these are the uh, five independent variables while the dependent variable is the size of the profit that is the uh, dependent variable size of the profit is uh, being affected by these five independent variables so let's uh, proceed for example uh, this is our uh, for this particular model this is the uh, r square value that is point uh, double line 8 that is if we convert into the percentage it will be 99.8 percent that is the r square and uh, uh, our uh, beta values for these uh, individual five independent variables has also been provided in the regression coefficients so these are two tables one table is showing the value of the r square while the other uh, table that is the regression coefficients is uh, showing the value of the beta so let's discuss what is uh, r square and what is the uh, beta now first of all r square shows the total variance or the collective change or the combined effect of all independent variables are the, on the independent variables so in this case the combined effect of all the independent variables on the dependent variable will be known as the r square that is these five independent variables are causing 99 0.8 percent change in the dependent variable that is the profit of the company or size of the profit so we can say that the coefficient of determination r square is known as the coefficient of the determination this indicates that 99.8 percent of the change is explained by the independent variable in the dependent variable so this is our r square that is the total change which has been caused in the dependent variable with the help of the combined or the overall independent variables will be known as the r square while in case of the beta beta shows the individual effect of each independent variable on the dependent variable it does not take into consideration the overall effect of all the uh, of all the combined independent variables rather it take only one variable and check what percentage of the change it has caused in the dependent variable for example in this case that is the uh, self independent variable that is the self financing capacity this value has uh, 1.012 uh, next one is the uh, return on the equity degree of the technical endowment fourth one so these from these values you can check that the uh, one variable one independent variable is causing how much change in the dependent variable now if there is a positive sign it means the increase in the uh, value of the independent variable will cause more change in the dependent variable but if there is a sign negative sign so the negative sign shows that if the value of the depend uh, independent variable increase the uh, the variation or the change it causes will decrease okay so if the independent variable changes by one unit on average the dependent variable changes by the respective units for example in this case you can see that if there is one percent of change for example if we see the uh, second independent variable that is the return on the equity so if there is a one percent or one unit change on the return on the equity it will cause 14.3 percent change in the dependent variable or if we see uh, the uh, the fourth one that is investment per the person implied so if there is one unit change in this independent variable it will cause about three percent change in the dependent variable so in nutshell 
R square shows the combined effect of all independent variables on the dependent variable while the beta shows effect of each independent variable on the dependent variable. So this is the difference between R square and beta in the regression analysis that R square shows the overall or the collective effect of the independent variables on the dependent variable while beta shows the individual effect of each variable on the dependent variable. Thank you.